Hey everyone, it's Jake here from Rips Fish and Trips. Finally getting around to do a full review of my Can-Am 2018 570XT and just also some of the build features that I added to the ATV and um, my impressions of the machine so far. So in January of 2019 I purchased my 2018 Can-Am 570XT I had had no previous riding experience nor owned an ATV before, so did a lot of research on ATVs and just looked at which would best fit, suit my riding style. I wanted something that had a lot of performance, was very reliable, and landed on the Can-Am product. I happened to get this one from uh, Uxbridge Motorsports in Uxbridge. It was a holdover from 2018, so I kind of lucked out that way. And I took the machine home and um, rode it for the first couple months and then just started looking online on ways to uh, add some performance to my machine. Included in my list of Can-Am accessories that I've added was a rad relocate, fender flares, rear view mirror and also hand and thumb warmers. Currently have 1,652 kilometers on the machine. Had a couple little things that uh, I've had to get repaired at the dealership. Uh, I would advise if you're buying a machine like this, the 570, definitely opt for the five-year best warranty. The dealership's been really, really good. Um, I've had a couple things replaced from factory. I had a faulty uh, rad fan. Also, I've had the front diff replaced on this quad which was uh, an issue, I believe, for the 2018 model year. Some of the non Can-Am accessories that I've added were uh, an upsized tire. So this is a Nitro Traxxon tire. It's a 27 inch, up two inches from the stock 25. I was finding on the trails, I was getting a lot of uh, situations where I was high sided and uh, I was bottoming out. So I just wanted to go with a, a, a slightly bigger tire. And because I put the bigger tire on, I also do some uh, modifications to the clutch. So for the clutch, I added in a Dalton secondary tan spring and an EPI silver spring. This has made a lot of difference for performance for, for bottom end and also for mid range. Definitely can wheelie with this thing, no problem. And it's just uh, a lot more power couple challenges that uh, could be fixed on this machine, which I've addressed with uh, accessories, is the rad relocate. For some reason on the 570 model, they don't have any side panels here to protect the rad from mud, be mud being splashed up from your tires. And I had a, a few issues with going into limp mode after a couple hours on the trail. So I did have the rad relocate installed and looking forward to seeing how that changes that going forward. Second challenge would be the factory brake pads. I had around 850 kilometers on my machine and the brake pads were completely done. In fact, I had to replace my left caliper um, as the uh, rings in it started to wear on the rotor. So just if you do have this machine or any Canon product, Make sure you're checking your brake pads on a regular basis because the factory ones are very, very soft. I did go with an aftermarket brand that are much harder and should last a lot longer. I've definitely been impressed with the Can-Am 570. Had some great rides. It's never left me stranded. And it's a great machine to get you into the sport if you're looking to spend less than 10 grand. It comes well equipped with the XC package. You get the racks in the back here, hubless alloy wheels, hand guards, front bumper, 3,500 pound winch. So it comes very, very well equipped and a great machine if you're looking to uh, start your journey into four wheeling. Hope you enjoy the video. Hit the subscribe button if you like and have a great day. Thanks.